Yeah, we're gonna have to drink with this topic. Okay, y'all nosy. Let's go. Yep, that's me. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so Rena. You get it corny, I know, but that's just how we are here. And if you're new here, then you don't know that we typically do this thing over here on my channel called So yeah, y'all, we doing tipsy talk or whatever. I know it's Vlogmas, but I was like, hey, it's story time. Okay, so because I'm doing the story time, I was like, let me do a tipsy talk because, baby, y'all want to know all the tea, okay? If you're new here, I apologize in advance. <laughs> so it took me a long time to like know how I wanted to do this video because mm, mm, I didn't want there to be too much shade going on, you feel me? So yeah, for privacy purposes we're gonna be changing my ex-husband's name you guys read the title yes i said ex-husband um yeah i'm 25 years old as of october 3rd of 2021 i got married at 18 <laughs> yeah <laughs> i got married at 18 straight out of well not straight out of high school because i went to college for like a semester but he and i were together during college he did not go to my college but he was always at my college with me we'll get into that yeah so let me take another shot and i know my flash says hypnotic but it ain't hypnotic in here it's bacardi in here okay 40 percent we need that basically i'm going to change my ex-husband's name to elijah okay um that's not his name nowhere close to his name don't be trying to piece it together if you don't know you don't know if you know you know keep it to yourself okay <laughs> so yeah i am just gonna tell my side of the story this ain't even no drama really this is just my life okay i should write a, i should write a book okay because y'all probably like what the heck is she about to say and i'm gonna include pictures for y'all too okay period let's start way back okay well not way back it was a few years ago um well more than a few but baby i'm 25 now your girl getting old anyways <laughs> so we me and elijah did not go to school together um high school together so go to school in any county together anyways we met from instagram girl you heard what i said <laughs> So Elijah had DM'd me because my best friend at the time had just passed away. He was murdered. So we knew all the same people, but we didn't know each other, right? So he messaged me and was like, hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. I want to take you out on a date. And I remember telling TT and Jasmine, like, y'all, this guy asked me on a date. Like, I'd never been on a date before. Woo, woo, woo. Child boo. All right. Men, men don't know how to date, okay? And we, the young girls, they be naive and they just fall for it, okay? I, not no more, okay? My, my current man now, step it up, okay? We going on dates, okay? He asked if he could take me out. So I was just like, ooh, girl, you know, he kind of cute, you know? He chocolate, he had braces. I ain't gonna give y'all too much information for y'all pieces together, but he was not looking, okay? He was nice looking, okay? He was nice looking for what I could see on the ground. So I'm like, you know, that's my type. I don't really dibble and dabble in the light-skinned boys. Mm, I have before, but it ain't really my cup of tea, not my cup of gel, okay? So I was like, you know, chocolate guy, braces, I like that, so show. For show, for show. And I'm okay with telling the story now because like it's so many years later and it's like, we have talked since then. I'll get into that. I'll get into that too. So I was on Instagram and I asked you guys to ask, to send in questions regarding this. So I will go to it in my phone as I tell the story about how Elijah and I met. I know a common question is gonna be, why was I getting married so young? Like your girl wasn't pregnant or nothing, okay? I was gonna go to the military 
And I know a lot of y'all about to scream when I'm about to say this, but I wanted him to be my husband when I went to the military so that he could come with me so that I wouldn't be alone. I was going to be the breadwinner and he was basically going to be like a stay at home husband type. You know, I just needed him there with me. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. That relationship is just not who I am anymore, but we'll get there. That is why we got married so young. Nobody tried to stop me. Well, the day of the wedding, Cece was like, you sure you want to do this? She was my maid of honor. She was like, you sure you want to do this? Like, you have your whole life. And I was like, yeah, I was going through it. And then she was, later on, she told me that he was going through it too. She seen him in the hallway. He was like, Cece, I don't know if I should do this. Woo, 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 woo. Huh. Then, we got married. I'm gonna put pictures on the screen, boo. Cause your girl had a wedding, boo. Your girl had a wedding, okay? A wedding wedding. All right, I begged my dad for this $2,000 dress and uh, all this stuff, man. But let's rewind. So we ended up meeting up. He was working in like this lawn care business with his family. And so we met and I was just like feeling his vibe or whatever. Um, I, in high school, I didn't live with my dad. I lived with a group of friends. So I was pretty much like a couch floater <laughs> uh, my senior year of high school because my dad and I had a falling out. So yeah, when Elijah and I met, I really didn't have a place to stay. Like I was staying, I had a different boyfriend at the time. I was staying with him. We broke up and I was pretty much just floating house to house senior year. What with my mom for a little bit, you know. Eventually I started living with Elijah. Um, and Elijah lived with his family. So I was not living with Elijah and his family. And they are religious so no shacking okay but they still were okay with me coming because i was supposed to be sleeping on the couch but i was sleeping in elijah's room <laughs> and then when i started talking about going to the military and stuff it was just like okay well we're just gonna get married it wasn't a you know super cute elaborate proposal but let me tell you something gooch if you're watching this right now you you better bring it okay i'm talking about the proposal better be mwah. i'm talking about a movie okay but your girl didn't have that back then. It was just like, a, okay, we're going to get married and you're going to come with me to the military or yeah, whatever. So, I ended up not going to the military, by the way. We'll get into that. Can I get there? Okay. I had a cute little wedding or whatever. My dress was $2,000. I begged my daddy for that dress, okay? And he, for sure, for sure, walked me down the aisle. Oh, period. So, we were going to get married at a church because um, he introduced me to the church like i said his family is religious they're pastors um so yeah i had never been to a church before until him besides the funeral that i went to for my best friend so if you don't know i was raised as jehovah's witness so i was very sheltered i didn't know anything about anything other than jehovah's witness so the idea of marriage and commitment and being one person for the rest of my life has always been um, a thing that I've like strived for. My pa I have a divorced family. Um, they got divorced when I was young. So the dynamic of family, like I really feel like it's on me to repair it um, and to be an example of like a relationship that could work. And then I felt like as a teen, as a teen marriage, I didn't want to fall into that stigma of, oh, they got married too young. Y'all not gonna last, woo woo woo. So, during all the trials and tribulations I went through while being married, I I felt like I was trying to prove a point consistently every time we would argue and I would feel like, well, I'm just stuck here because we're married. Mind you, we were just married. So we didn't have any kids, no property in each other's name, no cars in each other's names. Even though he was trying to act like because we were married, my car was his car because he didn't have no car, baby. I had a car that was paid off. But elevation <laughs> well this story is all over the place because it literally was all over the place we started talking about marriage and stuff and asked his parents what they thought about it they were cool with it my dad was like you sure you want to marry serena she's kind of crazy and he was like yeah he was like well but i can't stop you because when serena has her mind set on something it's gonna happen thank you dad love you i know i put you through a lot 
but it's all, it's all love. <laughs> yeah, we got married and we got separated within a month <laughs> because this girl DM me and she was like, uh, aren't you Elijah's wife? Well, um, yeah, she's like, aren't you Elijah's wife? Well, um, screenshot, insert screenshot, insert screenshot. I'm not going to put screenshots on the, uh, screen because I don't want to do all that. But, um, she was just like, yeah, this is what the inside of your car looks like. This is what your car looks like. This is what his room looks like. And this is what, um, he told me that he was going to leave you and be with me. Woo -woo. Girl, please. First of all, this is just, this is just for every woman who is dealing with somebody who is married he ain't gonna leave her if he's gonna leave her he would already left her before you even came into the picture but we'll just move on with that because but he wasn't trying to let me out that marriage and that's just that i was the one that left he didn't leave because he was at work and i left um and he was like begging me to come back or whatever that none of that really matters um <laughs> i'm gonna fast forward to like present day <laughs> so present day we divorced we got divorced years later actually like we were separated like as soon as we were married pretty much because i don't tolerate that <laughs> so yeah no uh and there was a lot of back and forth that was probably the lowest i've ever been in my mental health <laughs> um i'm not gonna go too deep in it because i honestly think i need counseling for it because I never really dealt with it. I just hopped into my next relationship, which you guys seen, because that's when I started doing YouTube, was after I had already left my marriage and I was with my ex-boyfriend. So, yeah, I just hopped right into that relationship and kept it rolling. I was already dating my ex. By the time I was getting divorced, we were already in a relationship. But, hey, that's life. I was honest. I never went through the process of changing my name. I know people are going to ask me that. Uh, my last name was never changed. Because like I said, we were separated within the month. Like, damn, like, can we even get to the social security office to change the name or before you cheat? Like, I don't get it. And I was willing to give this man everything, which is crazy. Women, don't do this. <laughs> Unless you're like, I don't even know because I've heard stories about people who are like 10 years married and he has a whole secret family. So girl, I don't know. When you know, you know, okay? I don't know what it is, but taking shots out of a flask instead of a shot glass really hits different. So I'm going to get into the questions. Somebody was like, you got married? And I was like, yeah, married 2016, separated 2016, and we were legally divorced in 2019. Someone asked, are you on good terms with him now? Um... I'm not in communication with him right now but my birthday last year I was at the club and I seen him and we just had a regular conversation like I it's not like some oh I wish he was dead type of thing like that's really really extreme like I have grown so much from when we got married in 2016 mind you it's 2021 now like how long are you gonna stay mad and bitter for you know um and that was not my worst breakup, but that was my worst relationship, but not the point. So <laughs> my, um, my whole look over it is like, I would not be who I am now if it wasn't for Elijah, what we're calling him. If it wasn't for Elijah, because I learned a lot about what I would tolerate in a relationship and what I wouldn't tolerate in a relationship. I've learned what my triggers were. I've learned you know how to love myself without a man or you know even with a man that breaks his promises you know and i was just looking at him when we we're at the club and i was just like we were just so young and just we didn't even know ourselves you know you like 18 come on you're a baby seriously like i commend anybody that gets married that young and can still be together in a healthy marriage not even just still be married in a healthy marriage okay and as that person gets to learn themselves and grow and expand you're able to grow with them it is a beautiful thing and i've seen it happen before i just wasn't fortunate enough to be the one that would be able to show you guys like 
how it's done you know I still am figuring myself out every day I'm a Libra okay I change every day I just I if I could go back in time I would not do anything different um, other than how I handled the breakup right I like I jumped into that was another question how long did it take for you to move on was it difficult or easy um, I moved on almost immediately um, I my friends like to say that I am like the guy in the group because I am just so you know zero tolerance monotone straight like that just like that <laughs> but really I am very emotional but I like to bottle it all up and just hop to the next thing that would distract me okay and then that ended up being way longer lasting than that and you know sometimes that's not even healthy sometimes it's okay but sometimes it's not healthy because you're just suppressing your feelings and then one day you just explode like a bomb right so I tried to pace myself this year I did pretty good this year um, but you know I just I don't have any bad blood toward him now I don't know who he is as a person now you know so when I seen him after all these years mind you because I was in 2020 I seen him at the club on my birthday and I gave him a hug I said what's up you know like it is what it is like we went through our shit and now look at us he seems like he was happy with his girl he was telling me about her and I was still with my ex-boyfriend at the time which was the same boyfriend that I went to straight after him which he's aware of because that was a whole nother thing but because they saw each other in person and my ex and Elijah they don't like each other but hey it was all respect because at this point there's no I mean you don't own anybody you know what I'm saying so it's like it was good to see that he moved on neither of us are bitter neither of us have hard feelings like what happened happened and we learned from it and I think that we both grew as people through it so yeah um could therapy have helped y'all continue in the marriage no and let me tell you why because we did therapy prior to getting married so uh, in the church I don't know what kind of church you guys are in or if you even believe but he and I were part of a Baptist church and so um, we had to go through premarital counseling and I felt like I knew him and that we connected through that and we were stronger through that and then by the time we said I do it was like everything went downhill I don't you know and just when you know that something is just not going to work you can try your hardest and by all means try okay but when you know that it's not worth saving anymore that's kind of like when you have to let it go and I also had an issue with divorce so I didn't believe in divorce um, because of how I was raised like I told you as a Jehovah's Witness but I just feel like you shouldn't be bound into a situation that you are not mentally happy in so I guess that answers that no I don't think therapy would have helped the next one is what red flags do you think you missed before getting married he i think he and i both have our own red flags um i don't know how to handle things that don't go my way i'm still trying to work on that now so if i'm not in full control i'll kind of like get a little antsy or irritated because i want to be in control of everything so i'm trying to learn well, I'm way better at this now, but I was not as submissive then than I was now, right? So now I will allow a man to follow, to lead me, to follow me. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I will allow a man to lead me and guide me in the right direction, take criticism. Goose does it all the time. He is on my ass, okay? But, um, yeah, he's on my ass now, y'all. Boy, can he let up, okay? <laughs> So it's just all about growth, personal growth, all this stuff. I don't really, a red flag for me could not be a red flag for you. So I'm not going to just lay out his issues onto the internet. Um, but he and I both had a lot of growing up to do and it was difficult to do 
when you're dealing with somebody else you know and you're worried about somebody else's well-being and you don't even know about your own well-being you know so the whole marriage in itself was a red flag so yeah we were just soaking up each other's trauma and each other's issues and just protruding them outwards to each other in the nastiest ways i'm telling y'all like it was so toxic <laughs> like seriously like if this summer walker album would have came out back then i would be screaming it from the rooftops okay but it's a good album but it's more so like okay like now i can just rock with it but back then please i would have been petty so the serena back then and the serena now are not the same people okay all right someone said when did you notice this wasn't working out there was a family argument dispute brawl if you will <laughs> that took place shortly after we got married and ever since then it was over with <laughs> like i'm not gonna go too much detail into that but when that happened we tried to make it work after that we tried to distance ourselves from people that were not supportive girl i even ran off and went back to miami i lived in miami with him um to be closer to my family because things were so toxic with um us and his family and that didn't work either it was just i don't you know sometimes you just need to move on <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know how else to put it like we literally tried everything in the book to get it to work we isolated ourselves we moved you know it and it just didn't work you know someone said do you feel like team marriages last why or why not they can they definitely can someone else said what's your opinion on waiting to get married now that you've experienced it hmm. i just feel like now that i've experienced it and pretty much rushed into it like let's not sugarcoat it uh pretty much rushed into it it paces me now you know i know the work that needs to be done prior to i mean we didn't even have a pot to piss in you see like y'all see me now and yeah i have other stuff going on like with my car and work and shit but that's not that doesn't equivalent to like what we were doing like we were shocking up gonna be married and still living with his parents you know and i mean we were trying to make things happen for us but they really weren't in any aspect um we were just dumb, broke, and in love at that point, okay? And so, or at least we thought we were, okay? So, nobody could stop us. We're both very, we both are and were very bullheaded, okay? And very petty and very cocky, okay? So, now I just know how to allow myself to be loved and allow my love to be received by somebody who wants it you know i don't get disrespected anymore i don't get cheated on anymore i don't get uh, get in arguments or full-on brawls with my boyfriend's family it just works and my family loves gooch y'all i tell you I, i'm pretty sure that they wish that they birthed gooch and not me okay <laughs> yeah we if Gooch asked me tomorrow, I'd be like, whoa, what? I would probably shit on myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't have any, you know, reservations about marriage. I used to. Like, I'm not going to lie. I definitely was like, oh, I'm never getting married again. That shit is not it. That shit is overhyped. But when you got the one, you got that one, okay? Uh, someone said, do you regret it or not? No, I already answered this. I don't regret it. Um and i think that was it yes that is all the questions i hope you guys enjoyed this video girl my flash is empty oh wait oh there's a little bit let's finish it girl girl could be bae i thought i would never film this video like i ain't gonna cap to you i thought i would never film this video like but yeah y'all probably looking at me way different now like this girl then had a whole different life <laughs> like, yeah i really did like and i didn't even get into depths of topics but i just feel like everything's not for the internet and you know sometimes you just gotta wipe the slate clean and start over you know and 
I can sit here before you today and smile and tell my story, my testimony, whatever y'all want to hear. Because it might touch somebody that's going through the same thing or has gone through the same thing and thinks that's just the end all be all for them. And then they're able to look at me and see like there's more to come than just that situation. You know, so somebody that's real and been through it and understands where you're coming from, girl, I'm with you. All right. I'm with you. There's been a lot of growth here and I'm not ashamed to tell my story. So anything else you guys want to know, drop it down below. Let's go. Let's have a conversation. This is a safe space. Okay. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.